morning and welcome to my channel I just pick up this morning and say let me give a word of inspiration to anyone especially those who are back home in Africa planning to to come to come to come abroad maybe in Europe or America somewhere out of Africa let me give a word of inspiration to anybody and to cushion people who are planning to travel first of all let me say it's, it's difficult abroad but uh, it's, it's, it's not very difficult but somehow you can say it's difficult because you're not you're not at your at your base home is home but first of all let me start by saying that if you are thinking of coming abroad i'm not discouraging people from coming abroad as a matter of fact i'm even encouraging people because the life here is, I can say, a thousand times better than most. A thousand times better than back home, particularly in Africa. And for those who are planning to come to to America, or those who are wondering or are contemplating of whether I should leave and to leave and come to America or or um, uh, or Europe, I will encourage you to. To take a bold step, if you don't have the means, if you have family, I can encourage you to talk with family, talk with friends, or any means that you can use to travel abroad. Abroad, my sister, is is as the fastest way of changing your life. That's the fastest way of changing your life. Not nobody should discourage you that. God is not good or America or Europe is not good that's the fastest way the system has been so spoiled back home that it doesn't matter how educated you are how sometimes you can even have money back home but you may not, you may not be able to to achieve what somebody who is abroad can achieve personally I've been here for just five years plus in america and thankfully i am now a citizen and and god has been kind to me very generous to me many things have happened to me so i was just looking back looking back and looking my life behind and and i really want to encourage people especially people who are back home if you have your means of traveling abroad should do so because I quite remember when I was in when I was in Cameroon and for those who know me I'm a very hard-working person I've done all sort of businesses all sort of businesses I used to have a, I used to have a documentation office I used to do cyber cafe I used to have his classic salon I used to in short I did everything international calls and I'm not somebody who is was very was careless I tried my best and uh, I was doing well a little bit I was doing a little bit better in Cameroon and uh, my my children were attending good schools but life was not that easy with me it was not very easy with me I was even imagining me I was even better I was a little bit better in Cameroon and I had difficulties How about those were People were not even as, as, uh, they were not even up to my standards. How are they doing? So this morning I want to encourage my fellow Africans. If you have the means of traveling, it doesn't matter. Nobody should discourage you. Things are okay this way. The only thing you have to know is that life here is very different from back home. You may not enjoy the facilities you have back home, like the, the liberties you have back home. But here you can plan yourself and you achieve what you want to have, what you want to achieve. If you set a goal here and you say, okay, I want to have a million francs, let me put it this way, like, since we're using dollars. I wanna, you want to you wanna do something back home and you need a million francs. You can set your goal for the week or maybe two weeks and you have the million francs. And you do what you want to do. If you if you're working here, you 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 
and make something out of it. But back home, if you do it, you can work for somebody for six months and they will not pay you. And finally, they might even take you, they might even take you to the police and lock you up. So I'm really encouraging people, especially the young people who are, who are still back home. If you have your means, if you can, if you are a careful person, if you have something with your family can stand and and put something out for you, even give a house or give a farm or or anything for you to travel. The only thing I want for those who are, who are traveling is this country is a very nice country. It's also a very dangerous country you know, in terms of in terms of. Uh, the way of life. This country, if you are coming, to, you are coming to this country. You should, be, you should be ready to be humbled, because this country will humble you. This country will humble you. Are just a, you are the type of person who goes around doing things carelessly. Maybe you commit crimes or you do things. You take, you, you 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 escape from the law. If you are coming here, know that this country is going to humble you. This country does not know who is rich or who is poor. You can stay in the street like this one and you might not know that your next neighbor is a millionaire. He doesn't know a rich person, he doesn't know a poor person. You just need to follow the law and you'll do your things. Yes, he doesn't know a rich person. You can stay in this street, I can be here with my neighbor for the next how many years. If I if I don't want to know him, he's not going to know me too. We we'll stay apart, everybody, without committing any crime. You will not have any problem with your neighbor and and everybody will stay, stay well. If you're a person who comes and you cause, make you make noise, I can stay here. What once I follow the law, I don't make noise. It doesn't make noise. Everything's okay. If you, it's not like back home where you do your things where you wanna do. You stay in your house. You play your music very loud, and the ne the next person cannot complain. But yeah, it's not like that. If you come, if you if you're that type of person that commit crimes cause uh, a lot of problems back home you come here you be you you have to be humbled this country will humble you you, you cannot you, you can you're the type of person who goes around flirting maybe um, uh, abusing girls or things like that you cannot just go on the road and see a girl and start calling the girl hey, see, i wish you do back home hey my name or you tell compliment the girl on the road hey, i like you all this sort of thing you cannot do that you do that here you fall into problems you know, like in those days, you tell us uh, uh, if you go to women country, um, women are everywhere. You just get one old woman there and start, and you, when you go fall in love with the woman, or maybe you start sexing the woman, you have a lot of you, 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 you have a lot of benefit. It doesn't happen like that. All those stories we are hearing in those days are, 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 are lies. And if you are not careful, you come to this country, you can be for maybe a year or even five years without getting a getting a girl if you don't if you are not careful because it's not like as if you're like in Africa where you are free to just see somebody uh on the way and you say okay you start trusting the person. It's not like that. This country will humble you. This country will humble you. That's the one thing with this country. If you have a big man who stays in a very big gate and you go to your house and the uh um you need a, you have a gate man, you have a cook, you have a uh, uh, how do you call it? Person who takes care of the the compound. If you come here, you will do all those things yourself. You eat your food and you go and wash your plates. Even if you have children, wash your plates. You'll be forced to do your cooking. You'll be forced to do your cooking for yourself because it's it's not it's not easy to employ all those type of all those staffs because now it's, you know, it's not like in Africa we just employ somebody and just pay peanuts and the person go to be a gate man here is 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 a very big job the salary of a gate man here in america can be more than the salary of maybe a minister in Cameroon. a part of those they are those they are they are they are, they are fraudulent things they used to do so you, you will not be able to you will not be it's, it's almost impossible for you to employ all those people so if you are coming here, if that's our person who, who, who is so controlling and you want to, you want to, you do things and everybody is just as you are a king, it will be difficult for you. So if you are coming here, you should be ready to, to do things yourself, do things yourself. You should be able to, if you come to your house, you wake up in the morning, you should be able to clean your house yourself. You you should, you should be able to to cook your own food. You should you should do things yourself. 
because if you want to say you are that big man in the quarter when you go they say oh grand days grand days you come here it's not going to be like that you have to be able to humble yourself and do things you can do even two three jobs once you have the document and you, if, you, if you don't involve yourself in so many um, social activities because there are places in america where it's just like in cameroon there are places in maryland or some other area where you have so many blacks and i've been advised you not to stay where you have so many blacks if you have the opportunity of staying where you have whites or many whites around or diverse um, um, cultural background that will be better for you if you come and start meeting your country we we'll start enjoying yourself go we'll to bars and enjoy many nightclubs you realize that all this small money you are doing your working is going to it's going to be you're not going to be man, you're not going to manage it well and at, at the end people will start complaining back home and nobody should tell should complain that hey, people back home are disturbing me no the main reason for people to come to come abroad is to help those who are back home that's the reason why some families will go as far as 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 doing raising money selling their properties just to send somebody out home out out in europe or in america so that's so in in return the person should come back and and help the family that's that's our only the our only the our only um, uh, intention that's the really, that's the most intention of people sending people out to go and help and so if people back home and are asking for money it shouldn't be as if they are disturbing you if you manage yourself very well nobody should tell you that yes about is difficult about is hard we have so many bills to pay water bills rent uh car b internet all those stuff there are so many bills but so too is the payment you work one hour yes so the minimum one hour is here in america sometimes 15 dollars per hour 15 dollars is how much sometimes 20 dollars per hour sometimes 25 dollars per hour 10 dollars 15 dollars per hour is almost like eight thousand francs in Cameroon money which is not which is guaranteed how about you doing a job which is 25 dollars per hour or 10 dollars per hour if you go to school or things like that sometimes you don't even you don't even need to go to school you don't need to be hard working you don't need to 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 be hard working do three jobs you manage yourself well have enough so you shouldn't be complaining when people behind the actual money so any which like with or somebody with support and always complaining 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 so there's something wrong with that person that person is always very greedy person well, I don't know how to put it. Because you should be able to help. People are suffering behind. People are suffering back home. People are suffering back home. So your first thing, if you, you should choose something to to do back home. Help people back home. People back home are suffering. As you encourage people, you have the means of taking your family members abroad. You should do that. You should do that because it, it, it's not helpful for, for you to 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 go abroad and you want to be the the only person abroad if you have a, if you have a family help others if you have family well, it will help you if you come abroad and you are the only person maybe you take a second person abroad that will help you to 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 reduce that budget if you have something like an okay or like a, some somebody is sick back home you might be able to share the the body with the person who, who, who just came abroad with you so it makes no sense for people to come abroad and they want to be there only alone because um, nobody should deceive you. Things are better here, a thousand times better. That things here in abroad here are a thousand times better than what is happening back home. The only thing back home is that you have your freedom to do your things. You can play your music in your house. You can shout your neighbors. You can visit your neighbor anytime you want. But so far as economically, eco so far economically, things are way more better here. And nobody should deceive you. If you have your means of start traveling you travel the only thing is that you have to know that this place is very difficult in terms of in terms of laws even if you're a driver you you it's difficult for you to even drive but like in europe but here in america it's not it's not that very difficult once you you have your driving license you follow the rules the rules are simple everybody follow the rules just like in africa you go when you are driving you see people making noise they do all type of honking yeah you can drive on the road for maybe two or three hours you will not even get a single honk from a car. Nobody can honk you. Pop, pop, pop. Don't do that here. You can only do that when it's like an emergency or something. 
So you follow the rules, you are okay. Yes, once you follow the rules, you say, okay, I've been here for just a few years and I'm doing well. And thank God I'm doing well. Yes, I, and I'm also proud that I've been helping people, even back home, helping my family people too, even friends. Yes, because I've been so organized, I've tried to be so organized. It's not that I'm very, it's not that I'm so, uh, uh, I, I would say it's luck. Luck too is involved. Luck and focus. You have to be focused. So I just wake up this morning, let's say, let me, let me encourage people who are back home, who are, who are planning to travel. First of all, to travel is a very good thing. Nobody should discourage you. Nobody should discourage Even if you are passing through South America, you, you, you want to pass through the jungle, you stay there for two, three months before coming to America, do it. Do it. If you have a means of calling a family meeting, you start, you, 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 you can even say, I can even call it, you say, if you're a careful person, you want to say your family property, you say it. That will change your life. I've had a lot of transformation just for a few, five years I've come to America. I can name a lot of things I've done. So many things. The only thing that I will advise people who are coming that you know that the laws here are very different. The laws, follow the law and you will achieve everything you want to achieve. Yes. So, for the people who are coming here, just know that this country will humble you. And if you are coming here with your wife, one of that's one of the things that cause a lot of problems here in America. I would advise people to come here with your wife, but you should be careful because women are doing a lot of things to men in this country. A lot of things which are not some most of the time is not very good. And the reason is that when a when a man comes here with a wife, or he gets a wife here, she 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 walk to she go to work, you go to work. She does her thing, you do her thing. At the end of the day, you, you, you have your money, she has her money. And most of the time, they even pay them more than you because most of the time, they pay them more than you. And once you, women, women who, are, who, who have been in Africa for a very long time without having that type of money, you come here and start disrespecting your, your husband. That's, that's the first thing. I'm just giving inspiration and advice. It's not that it's bad. Some people come here and they cope, they work together and they succeed. Some people come and it's very difficult to, to, to coexist with your wife or with your friend or your partner. And when you're coming here, for those who are not even married, you should be careful. You should be careful. If you come here and you go and get entangled with a girl, the most, the, one of the worst things is you go and impregnate the girl or maybe you, 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 you fall in love with the girl and you, you finally get a child out of it. One bad thing here is child support. You have to start taking care of that child. Because here government pays people for for children and things like that in terms of when they when they work at the end of the year, they have their um, uh, tax return. So women most women have taken advantage over that. When they when they broke up with their husband, you start doing working every day and you but most they sh more than fifty percent of your money will go to the child. That's one of the advice I'm advising people who are coming here. Be careful with the relationship you have. Very careful with the relationship you have because that one can destroy your stay in America or in Europe. Child support. Child support has caused a lot of problems. So if you are coming here, be focused. Be focused. You make it. There's so much job here. You can leave, you can leave one job this morning and by tomorrow you have another job have another job to have money is one thing to work is one thing and to have money is one thing and to manage that money is another thing that's why so many people come here they don't stay focused they work for years upon years you see nothing cannot come out come out of it so i'm just inspiring people somebody this morning be it you are from nigeria or cameroon or africa everywhere. africa is an africa there's something here there's milk only a milk here. Manage yourself well. If you want to come up, if you want to come to 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 abroad, do it. Do it. At first I thought Africans were suffering. This thing people are leaving Africa to come to Europe. It's a blessing to us. I'm telling you because in the near future, I will tell you that this slavery thing that Africans had will return to 
will not be because it will be a blessing because Africa is supposed Africa will turn to a different day when people are working hard and we are making their money the only thing is we are praying for the governments the authorities back home to give us chance to come and develop our, our nations go we'll have the means we we'll come here we we'll do all the type of job we do the people, the people who are here they don't do it and we we'll have we we'll make the money we we'll make a lot of money so I'm inspiring anybody who wants to come abroad to do it. Nobody should deceive that, that abroad is difficult. Abroad is not difficult. You just need to be organized. I'll take my personal story. Even back home, I used to play lottery for people. And I've, me, I've, I've sent more than 50 persons here in America when I used to be, be back home. I had a cyber cafe and I used to play TV. And luckily, we were winning, we were winning at my place. So, I just want to encourage my friends and family and my viewers and especially those who are in Africa. Those who are in Africa. So if you want to come abroad, you come abroad. Do your thing. Nobody should discourage you. Yes, because the life here is very, you have a, a path, the easy path to success. No matter your education. No matter your educational level. It's even, it's even making me to think that all those schools we were going to, we were attending in Africa were just a waste. You just need to be educated a little bit to know how to read and write. You come into Europe, start doing your work, working your money, go and develop yourself, help your family. You shouldn't be a stingy person who comes here and wants to be here alone. You come here, help your family, help your relatives. Help your relatives. Nobody should tell you about this. It's difficult. It's difficult, yes, but you can also keep something to help your people back home. Help people back home. People are really suffering back home. They need help. Yeah, so that's my inspiration for this morning. So I'll thank everybody. If you please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, to help my channel like this, you just need to press the like button, give a little comment, and uh, subscribe please i'll be sending out a lot of videos from now on i i used to have my channel i just left it but i want to concentrate on the channel right now because i've just been monetized and i just want to thank all those who have been supporting me so with time as time goes on you you have uh, you have many things from my channel many, i'll show you many things that i'm inspirational words because I, really, I need to inspire people because God has really blessed me. I've been here for for less than six years and I'm now, I'm now I can boast of so many things. I work back home and in, back home and here. So I need to, to 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 stand up and start advising people. Yeah. And I also want to encourage people who are here to start thinking of investing back home because I just came back from back home and I realized that life is more much more enjoyable back home than here the only reason you are the only advantage you have is that you can do work and have your money but once you go back home you have that feeling that home feeling that home feeling yes you will have your money to do your things it's better to stay back home than here but the best place to make money is making it here. Well, so I encourage people to go back home and do investments so that once you do your work here, you have your money, you can always go back and rest, see your family, see your friends. That will reduce your stress. Reduce your stress because it's very stressful here. Although you make a lot of money, make a lot of money here, but it's very stressful. Sometimes you stay for maybe a week without seeing anybody, maybe for a month without seeing any family relatives. If, for those who are not even married, for those like me, my children are here at this I, I feel a little bit better yeah so always try and invest back home that's my advice for today so thank you very much stay tuned always subscribe to my channel and always press the like button thank you very much bye bye